All right, folks, it's October 14th, and I'll do a short clip here for you. Um, my job was dealing with wildlife most of my life, and uh, had a lot of different <clears throat> people asking me over the years how to control mice, especially this time of year. Moving in, they're all moving in. Everybody's got a garage or an attic or a, a woodshed or something, or equipment shed the mice are moving in and I've tried you know and used hundreds of well, not hundreds but five or six different kinds of ways of trying to take care of mice problems for people but this is something new that I just found I want to show everybody and probably one of the best best mouse traps I've ever used there it is you can it's called the bucket mouse trap it's on Amazon for around $29 for four of them and it is a pale lid basically with a drop tray here's the pale lid you get four of these you got to put them together and basically you got a little tray back here for your a little pocket back here for your bait that that the, you put your peanut butter in that's what i find works the best that's peanut butter sits back in there. Um, <clears throat> this little black flapper is uh, the mice climb out onto this and go to the back to get the thing and they drop into a pail. Now, I wasn't having too much luck until I started smearing a little bit of peanut butter out on this tray out here and also on the little ladder. They give you a little ladder to put up onto the edge of the the pail put a little bit of peanut butter to draw them up onto it but here's the biggest deal it this goes on a five gallon pail and many of us you know have camps and we shut the camps down this time of year go away and you can't empty it you don't want them stinking this is the secret uh, one gallon of RV antifreeze pour it in your pail and that will keep the mice from stinking and you can rack up quite a few mice over a winter in a hunting or fishing camp or even your you know tool sheds or whatever I I have a equipment shed and I set it and here's after two days what I got in my equipment shed there's eight or nine eight or nine mice in there you know some people may say it's cruel you know but um, most of the professionals are putting poison out in little fake rock boxes and then the mice wanders off and it doesn't die instantly and something may eat it and get sick from it. So here they're not going and poisoning other animals or just taking a swim in the bucket and, and that's it. So if you want to take care of your fall mouse problems right there. That's one of the best mouse traps I've ever used.